Navaratri is one of the most important and biggest festivals celebrated across India and even other parts of the world. It is a festival where for 10 days or 9 nights, the various form of the Devi or the Divine Cosmic Energy, Divine Mother, is worshipped in all her forms. So every year there are four Navaratris, two of which are secret and two of which are celebrated, but the most important one is in September, October. Nava means nine and Ratri means nights. Literal meaning of Ratri is a time when one turns inward, when one rests and becomes rejuvenated. In Sanskrit, Ra means that which gives solace. And three refers to the tapatraya, the three types of afflictions or problems, suffering, misery that comes to us in life. On the physical level, the body or the environment, any pain or any disease, any problem. The mental level, in the mind, the thought level, and on the causal level, which means the past impressions, the karmas in the consciousness. So that which gives solace from all these things is what is Ratri. And Navaratri is a time where the sadhaks, the spiritual seekers go deep within to rest, to become rejuvenated, become refreshed, to become free from all these afflictions and start the year afresh. So it is also compared to the nine months we spent in the womb of the mother, those nine days, nine nights, where the child is in the womb and it doesn't have to do anything, it just goes within and it comes out new. Now, during this time, the Devi Mahatmya, a scripture is read or recited and also chanted in the pujas, the yagyas, which talks about the Devi fighting various demons and destroying those demons. Now, this has a very beautiful deeper meaning because the Devi represents the Shakti, the Prana Shakti or the power of the consciousness, the energy. And all of these demons, if you see the names, are very symbolic. The first demon she slays are Madhu and Kaitab, which stands for craving and aversion. That's what their name means. Then there are other demons like Dhumra Lochana, which literally means one whose eyes are smoky, whose vision is not clear. So when sometimes our vision is not clear. Then there is Rakta Bijasura, which means the seeds which are there in the blood, which refers to the our genes, when you say when there are any genetic problems, and even if you talk about things like cancer, these are seeds in our blood, our own blood. So these are all different types of demons. They have been depicted as demons. Then we have Shumba and Nishumba, which means doubting oneself and doubting others. There is Mahishasura, which is the inertia, the dullness, laziness, depression. Chanda means one who opposes anybody, doesn't agree. Sometimes, you know, our mind becomes like that, that whatever people say, we disagree. You know? You're in such a negative mood or you're not ready to listen to anybody. And Munda, another demon, means one who does not have a head. You know? Sometimes you simply don't listen to people. It's like you don't have a head, you don't have any ears. Whatever they say, it falls on deaf ears. You know? So through Navaratri, we invoke the Shakti. We honor and worship the Devi Shakti, the Divine Energy, the Divine Mother, that cosmic energy. We invoke it in our life so that it may overcome all these negative tendencies. It may destroy all these negative tendencies in us, make us free from that. So during this time, usually people, they fast. They have light food, just fruits, juices or light food. Fasting purifies the body and the mind. Then people keep silence. Silence purifies our speech. Then they listen to knowledge, discuss knowledge, because knowledge purifies the intellect. They sing devotional songs, bhajans, that purifies our emotions. So all these things, the pujas, the yagyas, the mantras, it allows us to purify ourselves, go deep within, connect with the consciousness, increase the prana shakti, raise our energy. And then throughout these nine days, because the first three days are reigned by Mahakali, which is the Adhistata or the ruler of Tamogun, Tamas. So these days the Tamas energy is more. And then we go through that, we worship that, we honor that, we move through that. Then the next three days is connected to Rajogun, Mahalakshmi, the Adhistata of Rajoguna. 
and then moving through the rajas, we come the last three days to the sattva, Maha Saraswati. So that at the end, finally, when moving through all this, when we have conquered all these demons, we have invoked the Devi, increased the prana shakti, connected to the consciousness, and it has destroyed all these negative tendencies, the last day is called Vijaya Dashami, which is the day of victory, where the, vic the Devi is victorious over all the demons and the gods rejoice, it is said this is the best day to start anything new in life. Now why is that? Because when you practice this in the proper manner, what happens is after these nine days of fasting, of silence, of meditation, of satsang, our mind is so much in the present moment, the sattva is so high, energy is so high, you have so much clarity, so much peace, no craving, aversion, you're open, you're centered and with that state of mind, Anything you start will definitely be more successful.